waves on this. But then, surprise, surprise, my height didn't help me then. <laughs> Just like it didn't help me with literally anything else in my life. Everyone who meets me goes, wow, you're so tall. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> the next question is, do you play basketball? <laughs> <laughs> The moment I say no, they go, geez, what a waste. <laughs> As if they can play no other sport. Can't just check, fellow Toastmasters and guests, we tall people are a minority who are discriminated everywhere. <laughs> I can just say, uh, go on again and again apart. Let's say, for example, clothes. There are no pants for me. Everything is three folds. Then <laughs> you must be wondering, what are these? These are the result of a very precise requirement given to the sales guy. 46 inch leg length, 32 inch hip size, not skinny, slightly tapered and mid-rise. Enough variables for the sales guy to go, huh? <laughs> So much for speaking Prada. And we have just barely scratched the surface. So once I was on a date with this girl, and I went to pick her up on my bike. She was uncomfortable with coming on a bike and suggested we go in a BMTC bus. <laughs> <laughs> now that was unexpected. This was supposed to go smooth not take a detour into nightmare street. <laughs> Since we were running out of time, I just go to the bus. Ladies and gentlemen, if we had been on the bus that day, you would have witnessed an extraordinary sight. There was one person in this bus who was standing like this. <laughs> Wedge clean right between the roof and the base. <laughs> gentleman thought I had some kind of disability <laughs> and offered me a seat. I thanked him and I sat. But like this. <laughs> and that was the day I thanked my stars that I was born a boy and not a girl. <laughs> of you who laugh, the people around me in the bus started laughing. <laughs> this was too much for my date to handle and she called on in the next one. <laughs> Without informing me of course. So in a way, my day ended on a really high note. <laughs> I got over that episode and went on another day. This time we made sure and I booked the time. <laughs> Always well. At the restaurant, the waiter almost mistook my day for my sister. <laughs> so I stayed clear of that guy. Everything was going well and it came time to leave. When you're leaving, you hug the people next to you. Normal people just go like this. And they are done. <laughs> they I thought it was a bit awkward, so I thought I would try again. So I got down on one knee. That's the exact reaction. Everybody in the restaurant started clapping and oi. Same disappointment as last time, but much worse. This time, I was the one who ran out, not her. But having said all this, there are a lot of upsides to being tall. I have a very good advantage as compared to all the guys in this room. I know what you guys are all thinking. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I'm talking about being the handyman to my mom. Say she needs something changed or something fixed in her home. She doesn't need a stool or a ladder. Not the other stool, the one you used to climb on. 
She calls me. Wanna change the curtains? No problem. Done. Changing the light bulb? Done. Cleaning the pan? <laughs> Next thing is, I'm a very good all weather sheep. Say it is summer and it is sunny. I turn into a tree and provide you shade. Say it is rainy, I become an umbrella. Protect you from the rain. If it is winter, well, I'm not going to talk about winter. <laughs> A lot of one thing can be a bad thing. Yes. It has been eight years since I became tall, and there's not been a single moment where I haven't been bombarded with questions or comments regarding my height. Where is the main thing which comes? How is your mother going to find a bank for you? <laughs> Why is it their problem? <laughs> single thing about it. It has given me difficulties, yes. But this is who I am and this is a part of me. So if we just learn to live with what we have, we might end up being really happy. Over the course. <laughs>